Hey there, I'm Austin with CA Media, and I thought I'd make this quick video today showing people a cheap media solution for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. The Black Kratos. So I decided to film this today on a day that everybody has their leaf blower out, and I've been waiting for everybody to stop, but I think at this point they're just playing with them. So I apologize if you can hear that. The Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera is an amazing, powerful little camera. But I wanna show you how much power you can pack into this little guy right here. The SanDisk Extreme Pro 170 megabits per second SD card. Now 128 gigs I bought on Amazon for about 40 bucks. I think I paid 60 for the first one, they've dropped. If you're on a budget and you just picked up the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and for some reason you didn't think about media and paying for that, or if you wanna put this thing on a gimbal or just want a lighter setup, you could have a CFAST card, but those are stupid expensive. Or if you don't want to have a heavy setup with a cage in the T5 SSD, which is what I use personally, but every now and then I break this little bad boy out. And today I want to see what frame rates and resolutions can you get out of this little SD card. I know 12 to 1 at 24p works no problem, because that's what I use if I sit down and shoot interviews or if I'm running around a wedding. This is after Blackmagic 6.6 update, I believe. So I want to see if we can shoot 75 frames per second in 4K on this little thing here. So let's see, I already have one in here. I'm gonna go ahead and format the card. But what I'm gonna do is format the card after every time we do a test, because I don't want any reason, I don't know if there's a reason that if the SD card starts becoming more full that it might slow down. I may have made that up. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm gonna format it after every use. Today, I'm just gonna be looking at Blackmagic RAW, because I shoot only RAW. So Blackmagic RAW at a constant, let's go constant bit rate first. Let's start with 12 to one, I already know works. You can shoot 12 to one compressed Blackmagic RAW up to it's telling me I can shoot for 78 minutes. 78 minutes on 128 gigs at Blackmagic RAW. It's amazing. Let's try eight to one. Eight to one, you shoot for 52 minutes. Now I'm not gonna sit here for 52 minutes. I think I'm gonna sit here for two minutes at a time. And if it hits two minutes, I'm gonna say you're probably good. Okay, we've hit two minutes. Blackmagic RAW, eight to one compression. I've shot a little bit eight to one and I've never had any issues with it and I've never shot over two minutes. Normally just B-roll segments on projects. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there. So eight to one, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I could be wrong, I don't know, I haven't shot all day, that this SD card is good for eight to one compression at 24p. Okay, we got two minutes at 24 frames per second at five to one compression. Next is three to one. Okay, this is three to one compression. Okay, so at three to one compression at 24 frames per second, we stopped at 14 seconds. And that's what I seem to find every now and then. It's not 14 seconds every time, but I just wouldn't trust it unless you're doing some burst shots. Let's go back down to 12 to one. And what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna try 60 frames per second, but I'm not gonna go through every single frame rate because that's gonna take too long. Now at 60 frames per second, it says we can get 31 minutes on this card of Black Magic Raw. I've tried this, it works. I've never had it stop on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that's good. Now let's try eight to one compression at 60 frames per second. Okay, so eight to one, we stopped at seven seconds. Um, that's since we're shooting slow-mo, that could be usable in burst. All right. Now this is five to one compression. And we stopped at two seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and say three to one is useless. One second, so, or one and a half seconds. Now that is in 4K DCI, so your 12 to one and eight to one compressions, both are gonna work fine. Five to one worked up to two minutes. I've tried longer, I've got five. I don't know if I would trust that any longer than that. It may stop. Three to one, I wouldn't use it on this SD. I would mainly stick to eight to one and 12 to one when we're talking 24 frames per second. 60 frames per second, I think 12 to one's your best bet to stick at. Now let's try, go ahead and format this. Formatting, 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 okay. Now let's try the new 4K 241 ratio at 
So 4K at 241 ratio at 75 frames per second converted to 24 frames in the project. Let's say we can shoot 31 minutes of this on this SD card. So let's give it a try. I'll let it go up to two minutes again. All right, so we got two and a half minutes there before I stopped it. I'm gonna go ahead and say 12 to one compression is usable for 75 frames per second. Next, let's try 4K 75 frames per second at eight to one compression, Blackmagic Raw. So eight to one compression, 75 frames per second, we got 23 seconds of footage and slow motion. It's not bad. Next, we'll try five to one compression. We got seven seconds of footage before it stopped. Now we're doing five to one compression. I do not have high hopes for this. You got five seconds, five seconds of, and if you do bursts, that could be usable. Okay, so we are going to try constant quality zero at 24 frames per second on this little thing right here. It says, we, it says we're gonna get 19 minutes of footage on this little card at Q0, which is ridiculous. Okay, so we got four seconds there. Um, not surprised, I really didn't think it'd work at all. So four seconds, 24P. I'm not even gonna try 60 frames. I feel like it's a waste of time. And just cause I can, I'm going to uh, try Q5. Constant quality five at 24 frames per second. And it says we'll get up to 77 minutes on this. Okay, at Q5, we stopped at 36 seconds. So I wouldn't recommend it for any long-term shooting, obviously. So would I recommend this Extreme Pro SD card? Yes. Yes, I would. I use it all the time at 12 to 1 for weddings and, or if my SSD fills up, I haven't yet to fill up 500 gigs yet on a shoot. But if it does fill up, I can switch over to the SD card if I have to. But right now I'm mainly using it for gimbal use so I can just throw it on without my cage so it's light and I have at least 12 to 1 compression. But I guess I can start shooting 8 to 1. Didn't know that. But I thought I'd go ahead and make this video for anybody who's curious about what SD cards can or will work with the Blackmagic Cinema camera. And this one, I think is your best bang for the buck. But I just wanted to make this video to let people know, because I don't see a lot of people talking about this, this little SD card, I dropped it. It's probably gone forever now. But not a lot of people are talking about that. And if you can shoot eight to one or 12 to one compression at 24P and 60P at 12 to one, I highly recommend it if you're on a budget or you just want to save money or you have no money. Well, I think it's a great solution for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera if you want to stay light. Well, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or want me to do any other tests or reviews or anything to do with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, just let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Again, I'm Austin Robinson with CA Media. I'll see you in the next one. I think somebody's trying to figure out what I'm doing with three cameras set up out here talking to myself. So. So, let's try it.